Gia Peppers. Um, I want to talk about your journey. You've had such an amazing journey. And interesting enough, it started at Music Exclusives. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so like when I moved to New York full time, I was working at a spot called N Stars. I had intern. They're playing Go Go. I am so sorry. This is really a problem for me. So, uh, they, I was working at a, a site called N Stars, but I needed a spot that people actually were like doing the reporting I loved. And Leo and the music exclusives team was already doing that. They were already on the carpet. So my first red carpet, my first like real dope red carpet was TLC with Leo. We had the time, and that was when I was like, oh, I can do this. This is it. So that really started all of that. I was able to get so many great clips from my reel and just really keep building from there. What has the journey been like? You, the journey has been a roller coaster for you because you are really that girl. Talk to me about the journey from music exclusives to now. We don't have that much time, child. But what I will say is like faith and perseverance are like the cornerstones of my story. Um, I. I decided a long time ago, like, God, it's going to be me and you. We're going to walk in this journey. I'm going to say yes. Sometimes it's going to be a really long journey for me to get to yes, but I'll, I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to keep showing up where you need me. And so God has been really good and really mindful of me and my story. Um, and I think the biggest thing that I would tell any journalist that wants to continue to work in TV and on radio or podcast is, one, Create the content that you want to make. There's no reason why you don't have a show or you don't have a podcast. And I know there's so many of them, but there's not, not one person that's exactly like you. So at the end of the day, tell your story, tell people what matters to you, and take those chances. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So if you don't have a reel and you say you're a reporter, what are you doing? Like, get that reel together. Get If you want to get into radio or podcasting, get some mic checks together. Study the craft and learn from people's stories and then go after everything. How do you keep balance between your faith and being in this industry? Because that can be really challenging. It can. I, I, I know that some people don't really believe in God and that's okay. You can believe what you believe. For me, myself personally, I don't know how I would be a creative without God. I see it as a divine privilege to be able to be a creative. Essentially, God is the illest creator of all time. So the fact that we're able to walk in his image and do all the things is one thing because we're his children, but the fact that we get to be creative too, like that's kind of lit. So I really always look at it as like a God-driven moment, a journey that every time I hear from him, I move and go back and forth with him on it. So. It's not hard. I, I decided a long time ago faith was going to be the thing that I do most consistently. So, And you've had so many highlights in your career. Give me two that really stood out to you so far. Being um, Interviewing Kobe, I'll never forget that. It was like seven months before he passed. And he was so excited to talk about Gigi and all the girls. Um, so I'll never forget that day. Um, and then... Today show, when I worked with them, that was amazing. I love like, I loved that team. I think they're dope. Um, and then the Image Awards, going to the Image Awards with my dad was everything. He's the reason I'm a journalist. So like having him see, be with me in that moment, knowing that I carried the torch that he lit in me a long time ago was everything. So the, being nominated for an Image Award with more than that was, I'll never forget. With the good comes challenges. Um, and I'm sure you've been, you've had your fair share of challenges because I think people see the glitz and the glam. They see you on red carpets. Um, how have you been able to navigate? And tell me about some of those challenging moments you've experienced and how you've navigated. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I'll, I always tell people is that like the mental health journey is just as important, especially as creatives and independent creatives and freelancers and reporters, like how you feel about yourself is ultimately gonna be what flows in your work. So you have to know how you really feel about who you are. And so therapy has been a game changer for me. I tell people all the time, therapy is everything getting into therapy. Um, that's why I started Healed Girl Era because I really have always been a seeker. I've always wanted to know more about myself, more about people, more about human nature. So I always say like, be curious about 
your own human nature first because you can understand at the end of the day every relationship you're having is one that you're having with yourself like it's all a reflection of how you feel about who you are so once I really started to get into therapy I was like oh there's some things that I don't really love about how I feel about myself if I'm telling the truth so um, doing that work has been game-changing for me and has helped me so much as a person but as a creative as well so I just tell every person if you can get into therapy, if you can afford therapy, even if it's once a month, just someone listening to you and able to guide you is is a life-changing healing process that every person I pray gets the chance to do.